Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Fabrication video 2. Trying to keep these a little shorter segments. Like I said in the last video, this is an untested design. I have no idea if this thing's going to sound good or if it's just going to be a distortion monster that doesn't make any power. I think it's going to work or I wouldn't be building it, but please wait till I get done, get the final segment in with the test done to make sure this thing is a viable project before you all go building this thing. I mean, so far, I've been able to build stuff that works every time, but there's still no telling until we hook this thing up to the scope and the audio analyzer suite and see what it's going to do. So with that said, let's get busy finishing up the fabrication. Okay, we started assembling the amp. We got the transformers bolted down. We've got the volume control mounted. On the back side, we got the speaker terminals. We got the hole for the IC socket done. We got our RCA jack holes done. And we pulled all the wires inside. And so let's take a look at what that looks like. Yeah, a freaky mess. And so the first thing we want to do is start figuring out where we can hook up some of these wires so we don't have just so many to deal with or what to do with them. So these are the output transformer wires that go to the speaker jacks. These are the primary windings for the output transformer. So for right now, I'm going to pull these out like this to these RCA jacks or the holes for them. And then get those out of our way. So one of the first things I'm probably going to do is hook up these output transformer wires. The white one is the ground. And I think I'm going to just go like, do a little loop like that and connect them on the inside where they're away from this area because we may end up using this for some wiring. So we'll just go like this and kind of come in from the back side, strip the wire off, and connect it kind of like that. So these leads right here are our power leads. These three are off the secondary. These are the high voltage with the center tap. And these are the 125 volt leads. They're going to hook up to the IEC socket and then up to the power switch. This is going to sit in here like this. This bottom terminal down here is going to go to the chassis ground. And then this one is going to go to this white wire. Or this white wire is going to go to there is a better way of putting it. Then this is going to run up here to the switch. And then this black wire is going to run to the other side of the switch. So that will deal with our power wires. So let's go ahead and just pull them out through here for now. So what we have left are the 6.3 volt heaters and then we have the others are the high voltage wires. So the other piece that we've got to consider is we've got we have these three capacitors that need to go in here somewhere and then we also have this fairly big choke that's got to go in here somewhere and the goal is to keep all of the power supply over on this side of the amplifier and have all the signal stuff over here on this side. And so I was looking at where am I going to put this choke in these capacitors. So to start with, let's get these capacitors out of our way and look at some options on this big choke. I mean... I mean, one option is to just mount it like this. And the only thing I don't like about this is we've got it right underneath one of the output transformers. And the laminations are going in the same direction as the output transformer. And there's really no way to mount it this way without just getting into a 
you know, mess, you know, bolts and whatever. That's that's not going to work either. Now we could put it over here, but then again, laminations are in the same direction as the power transformer, and it's probably going to pick up some hum. So that's not ideal either. Now there's another spot we could put it like right here. And I mean this I mean it fits pretty good right there. There's I mean there's a, definitely a way to bolt this thing down right there. And if we put it right here, there's enough room between this switch here where we can still hook the wires up to it, and the wires are coming out of the transformer back here, you know, without getting into it. But it doesn't leave us a lot of room to put those capacitors, and we're actually really wasting this area back here. So then I started looking at, what about putting this thing right back here? And if we line this up, right even with the bottom of the amp we can actually share this hole here for the IEC socket to hold one end of the choke and the other end can go right here right before it gets to that speaker jack and I think this is an ideal place to put this thing and that leaves us room over here to do some stuff with those capacitors so then the other thing we have to do is these 6.3 wires need to go to a tag strip that I could put right here. If I put a 5 position tag strip under this nut here, the two terminals on this side can have the 6.3 volt wiring on it, like that. Then you can put a 100 ohm resistor between each one of these and ground, and we can use the center point here as the ground. And then we've got this big cap here. Let me put something here to keep this cap from rolling away. We could put it just like that. And it could go from one of these terminals to the ground. And that could be a place to mount that big cap. Then this cap could mount on a tag strip on that bolt right there and then this other cap could go right there and I think that would mount all this power supply stuff over here in this corner give us plenty of room to wire up the switch and then we can you know run the wires from these over to here set up our star ground point we could make this right here our star ground point if we wanted to or we could make it over here either one it doesn't really matter probably this one makes more sense because that's where the first cap of the power supply is going to be so we could make this our main star ground point and then tie all of our grounds over to this point over here now the other reason to do this like this is if i do that, then I freed up this whole area in here to put the tubes wherever I want. So let's kind of look at that. Here's one of our tube sockets. We could put one of them like that, kind of centered on this bolt hole, and then we could put the other one down here something like that and then we've got plenty of room where we're not getting that tube too close to where this volume control is where we're going to have issues with working around it so let's turn the amp over and just aesthetically look at where it would look good to have these tubes so one of the tubes could go like right there, I was saying that maybe line it up with this bolt hole on that transformer. And then if we put the other one down here on this end, I 
think that'll look nice. Then the tubes, while maybe not perfectly centered, they're pretty close to being centered. And I'm pretty sure my 6BM8 has a very similar kind of offset like that. And let me pull that amp over here and show you what it looks like so you kind of get an idea of what we're trying to do here, making a big brother of this previous amplifier I built. So this is the little brother 6BM8 amp that I built first. And as you can see, it's a little more compact, but it's also got the tubes offset on that end of the amp even more visually than the one we're looking at building now. And you can see on the inside of this one how much more cramped we are for space inside this one. But let's put the other one up next to this one and kind of get an idea of what these are going to look like where I'm considering putting the tubes. So kind of what we were looking at doing was putting one tube about right there and then put the other one about right there. And you can see visually this is even more centered than this one is. So I think this is what we're going to go with. And it gives us plenty of room around this volume control. It keeps this tube away from the AC. Let me move it over just a breath. I don't know. Centered right on that screw seems good. And then centered right between the two transformers on this other one. And have it in line with the RCA jacks. That looks like a good layout right there. It gives us room to work around the tubes. I think it'll visually look nice and gives us plenty of room around this volume control to work too. So this is kind of the thought process I have to go through when I'm trying to decide how to lay out the components on a chassis, thinking about it both electrically and from an aesthetic standpoint to make sure that, you know, not only does it sound good, but it looks good. So let me go ahead and nail down some of the simple wiring like these speaker wires as well as you know deciding exactly where I'm going to put these tube socket holes and I think all of that will be great for the next video so we're going to wind this one up here. We can see we're getting close to finishing up the fabrication work we've got a little bit more to do then we can start putting tag strips in and all that kind of stuff I hope you've enjoyed kind of following my thought process. I'm trying to do this series as more of an educational thing so that you can understand like why the tubes got put here, why we put the transformers where we did, why the RCA jacks are here, and all that kind of stuff. Because it's more than just going, well, I think I'll put this here. You really have to think about not only how it's going to work electrically, but that aesthetically looks nice. And I think this is a really nice looking project. And it's going to be really great for like desktop use or small room or like a bedroom amp or that kind of thing. So anyway, if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Please like the video. I want to thank all you folks that have joined my Patreon. That really helps. And also for you folks that have made donation. That also helps me be able to afford doing this project to keep this channel rolling. So... Until next time, have a nice day.